Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome along to, um, well, the vlog first and foremost, um, but our self build extension project. So, I've been obviously rather busy over the Christmas holidays, and this is the first video I've done for probably two weeks. So, there's quite a lot to catch up on. So, where do I begin? I don't know. Um, Footings poured, obviously, as we saw, I believe, on one of the previous videos. And in that time, I've managed to get block work up. Um, two packs of blocks have gone into this, but I've run out of blocks. Uh, the outside skin also was meant to be one course of blocks and one course of engineering bricks. Uh, but I got a bit carried away. And I put blocks up, because um, I wasn't thinking. But it doesn't matter, because it's still below ground level. So we'll get engineering bricks on from there. But when I realised, I started to run them in. And then um, the internal block work, I've run out of blocks. So that's where we are at the moment. And I'm just in the process of levelling out the hardcore uh, to cover... Oh, I've got a piece of wood down there with some measurements on I was going to show you. Uh, yeah, just the hardcore to cover the bottom of the foundations, the bottom of the footings, and just get the site levelled off, ready to put some sand blinding on top, then some visqueen, then ultimately some insulation and a concrete floor. But we're uh, inspection away from that yet, because um, today I've installed some drain work. But before we talk about that, I'll continue talking to you about the foundations. So, seven Newton blocks and red engineering bricks. Also, where we've got the drains coming out through the uh, foundation itself, we've got some 600mm lintels sitting across the top, inside and out. We've got... Um, the manway, the inspection chamber, just on the outside. This needs moving that way a touch, but because I can't get to this section yet to dig it out until I've moved what's behind these boards, which is mainly just, just stones, but we saved those stones out of what we excavated. Over there we've got sharp sand, which we put through a riddle. Here we've got stones, and ultimately down this edge, I have to excavate the other side of this wall and put a French drain in down the bottom so those stones are going to sit around that French drain. Um, so yeah, we've got the lintels in, we've got the wall up to our old uh, dismantled coal house and you can see exactly how tight we are running along that edge. We're nipped up quite a bit there. We've got the 100 mil cavity and as we run down here the building inspector asked me to install a retaining wall here so what we've done we've taken this single block wall and we've laid a block flat to create a double block width wall along this outer edge then that's going to come up to around 200 mil below the um, finished ground level next door then we're going to go up with engineering bricks to 150 mil above and then we're going to put some plinth blocks on and the plinth blocks will bring us or bricks will bring us up and in and then we'll come up with normal block work normal brick work sorry off the wall so anything that's running down the wall will hit the plinth blocks and out and away so we're going to get this built up first to the correct height then in here we're going to have to put a raised cavity tray in to carry any moisture that gets inside the cavity from upstairs out so that'll come out when we've gone back to a single skin external wall up the top um, and then we have to excavate this back edge and we're just going to coat the external wall with some bitumen paint below ground and then put in a French drain right down at the bottom of the footing just run alongside the footing on the outside there 
to carry anything out and along the bottom um, and then you can see that we've got inside we've got our foul drain running along the edge of the footings here we've got this running at a um, I think a 1 in 70 so my 6 foot level is about 70 inches so I've put an inch thing on the top look so when I laid that down it gave me an inch fall on the pipe work over 70 inches so we're talking a 1 in 70 fall I've tested it and it works fine and running along here what's going to happen is at this end of the room this is going to be the end of the utility and that is going to run straight upstairs and pick up the soil pipe from the upstairs bathroom and also the sink and bath and shower waste here I pop this in this is going to pick up um, a p-trap from a shower tray so we're going to have a shower down here for just washing the dogs basically when we've been out walking and then down in this downstairs WC if you like we've got another one here to pick up sink waste and one on the end to pick up toilet waste of course so that all runs down like I say in a nice fall and out the building these are all going to obviously be roddable because uh, you'll be able to get into one of these if you need to to rod it by just removing the access cover the top cover which will convert eventually for these to a 40 mil waste um, but I don't think we'll need to rod any of this because it looks all it's all spot on and then also on these when this goes up to the top this is going to run all the way up into the bathroom upstairs and up there it's going to have uh, an air intake valve on there so obviously if you flush the toilet or pull the plug on a sink or a bath it doesn't create a siphon and uh, pull all the water out of your P-traps um, or your U-bends, whatever you want to call them. So that's down and out and then we've got to connect that up to the main sewer which is just around that corner. Here comes a little bit of wind. So what have we done on the front? Well we've got through a full bag of sand by laying all these footings and we've managed to get a bit of the wall started below ground. This is the engineering brickwork. Really tricky. It was wet yesterday, so the brickwork's a bit messy. But this is below ground level, so it's not end of the world. Um, here as well, we're going to have to build in. I must remember to do this. We're going to build in a um, utility cabinet outside for a gas box. So the gas box is going to be built into the wall here. I have to remember to do that at some point. On this side, we've kind of sprayed out on the floor where we want the door to be and then that there is going to be like a little wall so you walk in and then it's like a little bit of a walk-in wet room style shower tray thing going on there and then this section here is going to be um, hallway or porch if you like so this door will be coming out the stairs will be altered and in here will be um, some porch space got a little brick in there returned there's one underneath there as well so when I build the next course up and we pour the footings the footings are going to go to the outside edge so there is no cold bridging when we put the insulation in from the outside and there's also a floor underneath um, behind the front door rather than there being a void underneath there Still got a little bit of work to do in this corner. We've got to build this footing across to here, this foundation across, and then I'm going to pour some concrete into the footing to reinforce it over the old foundations next door. Everything's tested for square. You can see we've got the old string lines where they were they were mounted previously, and also we've had two grab lorries taken. Um, what was it? Thirty plus tons of spoil away. It's quite a lot of digging that we've done, quite frankly. And as you can see, I'm halfway through that pack of bricks. So there we go. That's a little 10 minute update. So you can see where we're at. We've got a temporary um, lay flat tubing carrying the guttering 
or the downpipe out and away which tends to flood the path when we have any rain and I've kept this little bit of a porch up just so I can stack all my bricks in here and blocks and keep the weather off them so I can lay with the nice dry blocks but it's going well folks and um, I only had one day off that was Christmas Day and to be quite honest uh, I was bored I wanted to come out and do some work on here and I would have done more today as well but everywhere's closed so I can't get any more sand or any more concrete blocks or any more bricks which is what I need to continue the project so I've got to just bring this up another up another course of blocks and then insulation and visqueen and whatever else so there we go that is um, another instalment of the self-build extension project and also for posterity a little bit of a video of the drainage in case um, the building inspector wants to see what we've done if we cover it up because I'm going to cover all this in pea shingle before we level all this out and then whack a plate it as well that's one of the jobs we're going to do before we throw the sand blinding on top so there we go folks I will see you on the next one